do our second craft. And this time out of your bag, you should pull out the kit that looks like this. It's gonna have a bunch of different things in it. All of these items. Plus, you should have some kind of pen from home. A ballpoint pen works really well, or a Sharpie if you can't find one. And your parents are okay with that. <laughs> um, oh, I almost forgot my assistant. Hey, we have a helper, this is Levi. He's gonna help us make sure that we get all the pieces done correctly. In your craft kit, you're going to have a cup, a balloon, two little googly eyeballs, three glue dots. You're gonna need to separate them. They'll be on a one big strip. A tail, a bag of beans, and some yarn. So in addition to all those things and your pen, you wanna make sure that you have someone handy next to you to help you, either an adult or an older sibling, someone. Some of this craft is gonna require tying so if you're having a hard time with tying and you're younger, you wanna make sure you have somebody to help you out, okay? Your very first step is to find your balloon in the kit and you wanna lay it flat as best as you can, which can be kind of hard, but remember, this is just for fun and it's not gonna matter exactly what it looks like. And on your balloon, you're gonna draw a little tiny Jonah so I'm gonna make his head, and I'm gonna give him some eyeballs, and a nose, and I'm gonna make him have a beard, because back then, pretty much everybody had beards. And I'm gonna give him some hair, and you can make this as fancy or as simple as you like. He could be a stick figure, he could be a, a full-blown, drawn-out person, that part is up to you, how much time you want to spend on that part. When you get finished drawing your Jonah, he should be something looking like a person. Doesn't have to be perfect for sure. And now that your Jonah's on there, we're gonna need to give him some stuffing because he's just flat right now. This is the part, one of the parts where you're gonna need some assistance. So your bag of beans is going to be your stuffing. It's kind of like we're making a little bean bag. And so you're gonna take the beans and you're just gonna poke them down into the balloon. And you might only be able to do one at a time, that's okay. And you're just gonna keep going until all your, your beans are into your balloon. And if you had a little funnel with a wide enough hole, that would make this job much quicker but it's good hand-eye coordination. You can do it by yourself too. <laughs> and if you drop them, no big deal, right Levi? <laughs> Even little Titus, my two-year-old, was helping me stuff the beans and having fun with it. So you can get some buddies together to help you with stuffing. how this works. It just takes time. So we're going to pretend like this is all stuffed full. Ta-da! See? <laughs> and then you're going to just set him aside for a little while. He's going to sit over there and just hang out. The next thing you need is your cup and your string. On your string, one end has a piece of tape wrapped around it so that it's easier to poke through the hole. So you wanna find that end and you're gonna stand your cup up so that the bottom is, is sticking up and there's a hole in the bottom of your cup. You're gonna poke the string through the hole and then you're gonna turn it over and pull the string, not all the way out, just enough like this. Then this is the part where you need an adult to help you with tying, or maybe not an adult, but somebody to help you tie. So you're gonna pull the string up and tie it in a knot as best as you can, right on the side of your cup. Okay. And now that attaches your string. 
that part's done now. Okay, so we have our little bean bag man, we have our little cup, and now we're gonna put it together. So you're gonna take your bean bag Jonah, and on the other end of the string, the string that doesn't have a cup attached, you're going to put it right next to the balloon, and then you're gonna tie the balloon and the string together, which is an adult job. And that will keep your balloon attached to your string. Okay, now we're gonna decorate our blue cup. Now our blue cup is gonna be, guess what? If this is the Jonah, this is gonna be the big fish. So we need to make him look like a big fish. We're gonna do that by putting some eyes on the side. You're gonna take your glue dot and peel off one side of the plastic and you're going to stick it to the side of the cup and pull off that back. Now you have a big glob of glue there. Pick up one of your eyeballs and then push it on so he'll stay. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. And you wanna make it so that it's roughly the other side of his head. Good. So now he has eyes. And of course, a big fish would not be complete without a tail. So everybody's tail is different. This one has some fun little paisleys on it. But on the example, it's just plain blue. So yours is gonna be like all different patterns. You're gonna take your tail and fold it just about one finger's worth so that it has a little flap so his tail can swim. And we're gonna attach that with another glue dot. So Levi pulled off the paper backing, he sticks it to the cup and pulls off the other piece of plastic. Then, you want to make sure that the patterned part of your paper sticks up so it's pretty or cute or however you want to call it. And then he has his tail. So now he looks like a big fish. He's got his eyes, he's got his tail, and he's all finished. And here's what we're going to do with this. So you've been hearing in all of the lessons about the story of Jonah, and we know that Jonah gets thrown off the boat and into the sea, and as he does that, the big fish swallows him up. So we're gonna pretend like this is our big fish, and here's Jonah in the, in the water, he comes in the water, and then and the whale, or big fish, gulps him down. So you can play with that. It's kind of like a kendama if you had one of those. So it's, you've made your own, and that is our second craft for BBS this year. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.